Now I want to show you uh, noise removal. There is not one setting fits all, so you kind of have to figure out how to do it for each one. So first of all, you want to find some good noise. So if you listen to this recording here, it's quite noisy. When a story or when something is happening and it becomes... So there's, there's this good hiss right here. So you want a, the, a large sample without getting anything like talking in there. So I want to, here's a good sample right here. You go up to effects, new noise removal, get profile. That got the frequencies that it wants to take out. Control F to make the whole thing. Control I and click there. And now we want to go into noise removal. And then here's the settings. This first setting right here is how much it will take this noise and reduce it. You can reduce it 48 dBs, but for narration we found that somewhere around about 10 dBs is good. You don't want to take too much out. Sensitivity, we pretty much leave around zero. Um, you can play with that. We found that 150 is a good, ex good thing for the smoothing. If you have it lower, and you'll get the warping sound. I'll give you an example here so you can listen. When a story or when something is happening and it becomes part of our life. We... I don't know if you could hear it, but it's gone. How you bring this farther the sample that you have, farther it will reach out. So 150 seems to work well for us. If you bring it more, it will take out less noise but it won't have that warping sound. The attack we find that around 0.10 works well is a good thing. Now this is what I like about this is you can isolate and this will when you do the preview you will hear what you're removing. So this is how I like to do the noise removal so I hear. When a story or when something is happening that's still taking out quite a bit of talking. So I want to maybe make this a little tighter and bring the attack down a little tighter. When a story or when something is happening. Okay, let's take it and move this up a little bit, see what happens. Okay, I'm kind of getting the warping sound, so I'm going to bring that up. And I did like it having a higher than the 10. I'm going to maybe, maybe bring about 20. And I'm, the attack means after it hears the noise, it, it's the time. So I'm going to go back to my 10 here. Or when a story or when something is happening. So it's taken a little bit of talking out. That's okay. And now I'm going to listen to it on the remove side and see how it sounds. When a story or when something is happening and it becomes part of our life, we normally present that to other people. And so I like that. I hit it, apply it. You'll see the noise go away here. Maybe not 100%. And now? When a story or when something is happening and it becomes part of our life, we know. The mistake that most people make is that they remove too much noise, take away the ambient room noise or something like that. So what you're looking for is clarity, uh, that the noise, if I go back, the hiss is quite distracting here. When a story or when something is happening. But then when I take it and I remove, you still can hear the room noise. When a story or when something is happening and it becomes part of our life, we normally... So now it's more clear, the hiss is not uh, disturbant. So that's basically what you're trying to do with the noise removal.